Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over the details of the keyframing handles. And um, I said I would do this tutorial and here it is. So I'm going to start with uh, just showing you I have a simple keyframe path set up here. This picture of the London Circus going up and down this, this path. And if you click this, right click this point, you can click linear. And you guys who have it played around with this, you probably know this just moves um, the length and the angle around. But um, the problem is when I do this, it affects both sides. And a lot of times you just want to do maybe just adjust the right side, but you see it affects the, the left side as well. So if you hold down the shift, you actually affect the length alone without, you know, doing the opposite side. So that's very handy. Also, holding down command actually changes the angle. Here, let me make it a little longer. Uh, it, it changes the, oh, that was weird. It changes the angle here, which is really nice. And then if you hold down shift and command together, completely still completely and you could actually go in and make that heart shape and also get this hold down shift and command grab the wireframe image and you move that around so if we actually wanted to make a heart shape here you could uh, see how good we could do this grab all this down I'm gonna grab this last point and drag it down here that point and drag this guy here. Let's see what that looks like. Interesting. Yeah, not the best, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things you can do with this. The controlling the handles um, independently like that is very useful in in any kind of project. So, uh, FinalCutKing.com. More tutorials there, tools, and. Uh, also, inbox me, guys, if and my YouTube account if you want certain tutorials or certain uh, tips on Final Cut Pro or Motion or basically anything in the Final Cut Studio package. Um, I can get some tutorials out for that. And uh, I'll see you guys later.